Hi again everyone. In this video we're going to continue our look at basic calculations and operations involving complex numbers. Now in a previous video I talked about the motivation for studying complex numbers. And basically complex numbers they're just an extension of the well-known real numbers that you studied at school. And although they seem quite abstract, complex numbers are worth learning about because they enjoy lots of important applications and I've listed some of the some, some of the applications here but there's there's a lot more and basically a solid understanding of a working knowledge of complex numbers they give us the power to help us to solve more important and more difficult problems so today's video is just designed to build your intuition about the so-called polar form of a complex number and the basic operations involved. Now here we have a particular complex number that's written in polar form. Now there's a length, in this case 2, and an angle, in this case pi on 6, associated with the polar form. And we're asked to calculate z, to the, z cubed, z to the minus 1 and minus 3z. Well, if I draw in the complex plane, we can write any complex number z with a length to the origin and an angle to the positive real axis. So essentially the angle here and the length here can be used to write any complex number we like. Now the beautiful thing about the polar form is that it greatly simplifies calculations involving multiplication or powers. Okay, and when we calculate these three things you'll, you'll get to see how that simplification um, works. So let's get into it. Okay, so if this is our z, let's consider z cubed. So take our polar form and cube everything. Now, it's basically just index laws. And I'm, all I need to do now is simplify accordingly. And I come up with another polar form. Okay, now it turns out that I can actually simplify that a bit more. Think of going out eight units from the origin and rotating pi on two units. Then I just lie along the imaginary axis. So I can actually simplify this down to 8i. So let's get on to our second calculation, z to the minus 1. Well again, using our polar form, the calculations will simplify really easily. So again, the index law is applied and just a simplification is involved. So for this complex number, we go out from the origin one half along the real axis, positive real axis, and then go in a clockwise fashion, pi on six, because of that negative sign. So lastly, you would like to calculate minus three z. So let's use our polar form again. Again, nothing fancy here, just regular multiplication. But there's a slight difference between this, this, and this. Okay, well, I guess here. These are in, these have positive coefficients, and this has a negative coefficient. Now, I'm going to turn this into a positive coefficient by taking out the factor of minus 1 and then writing minus 1 
in the polar form. Okay, so to get minus one, it lies here along the negative real axis. I go out one unit and I can either swing around, rotate around pi units or minus pi units. Now, I'm actually going to rotate around minus pi units and I'll show you why. When I add these two exponents together, my answer is going to be strictly greater than minus pi and less than or equal to pi. Okay, so for this complex number, what you would do is you would go out six units and rotate five pi on six radians in the clockwise direction. So let's put all that information together and answer the second part of the question question, plot your calculated complex numbers on the same argon diagram. So let's, let's do that. Okay, so firstly we want to plot 8i on there, so it's going to be along the imaginary axis, the positive imaginary axis, this is actually z cubed. Secondly, we want to plot 1 half e to the minus i pi on 6. So we go at 1 half unit and rotate pi on 6 in the clockwise direction. So this is z to the minus 1. And lastly, minus 3z was 6e to the minus i 5 pi on 6, so we go out 6 units and then around in a, clock, in a clockwise uh, direction 5 pi on 6. Pi on 6 and 6. Okay, so that's the end of our question. But let's have a look at the bigger picture here. What are the underlying concepts. Well, the polar form of a complex number gives us a compact way of writing a complex number, giving us virtually immediate information about the geometric nature of the complex number. We have the angle to the positive real axis and the length to the origin immediately. Secondly, the polar form of a complex number is very convenient for simplifying multiplication and power operations. That's another excellent property of the polar form. And finally, as we saw in our example, you can write complex numbers of this type by just using minus 1 equals e to the i pi or e to the minus i pi, depending on what's more useful. Now, it's important that you learn mathematics by doing mathematics. Don't just sit here and watch this video and imagine you're learning all about it. The best way is to do mathematics. So here's an example that I'm going to leave you with. Here's a po another po uh, polar form of a complex number and calculate some similar um, expressions and then plot your answer on the same argon diagram.